Hi, welcome to Classroom Screen. In this video guide, we're going to be talking about the GroupMaker widget and its functionalities. If you take a look at the widget bar here, you can click on the More button to locate and activate the GroupMaker widget. Once you position it on your screen, you can open the settings and choose from a nameless suggestion in case you don't want to use student names, perhaps. Otherwise, you can click on the list that you've already prepared, which I will show you since I've worked on it ahead of time. By going to the dashboard, you can click on Nameless button, and from here you see the one I've already set up. If you wanted to modify the student settings to prevent combinations of specific students, or pair students that will always be together when you create the groups, you can notice I've, for example, pre-selected Ingrid and Ryan to always be together in a group. Now we'll go back to the last screen and choose this list from the settings. From the settings, you can also see some options available like names that will be selected from that list and in case someone's absent, we can just uncheck their name. That way they won't be included in the groups at all. It's also possible to modify the number of groups and change the font size. Let's go ahead and create the groups. And we can see that our paired selections are present now, but in case you don't want to have these groups, these students in these groups, you can always move them around. It's also possible to lock students in the same group. And then you can quickly reshuffle and notice all of your preferences are maintained. Finally, if you want to add a little bit of fun, you can modify the group colors and the group names. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.